Um, okay, so um, let me find one of these questions. Um, how many nodal planes are contained in each of the following orbitals? Okay, well, let's just do one orbital at a time, okay? So, because I think there's enough material that we could talk about that doesn't really have to only do with just nodal planes, okay? So, uh, let's do, well, let's do uh, the one from the, the quiz, uh, the 4PY orbital, okay? So, um, let's draw it first. Okay, so if we think about the x, y, and z axes, so z axes like that, um, we said it was the y, right? So uh, p, so uh, s orbital, remember, is like a sphere, okay? And remember, this is a two-dimensional you know, surface, so I can't really show a sphere very well, okay? And a P is it like a dumbbell, if you think that kind of looks like a dumbbell or whatever. And then the D, for right now we'll just say the clover leaf. Okay? We'll just stop with there for right now. Now I know there's like that DZ squared, that's that weird looking one, like a dumbbell with a ring around it, and some other things, but let's just, for right now, the D. 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 Okay, and we said we were looking for the 4PY. Okay. So we said this is S, D, D. And I don't, the clover leaf shape, I don't know. If um, so the Y is going to be on the Y point. Yeah, so I fall over. Why? <laughs> yeah, I'd be losing energy hardcore. <laughs> okay, and so it asked also uh, how many nodal planes are contained in it. Well, the way to find the number of nodes is so you know the energy level of this. Everybody hopefully could tell me the energy level of this is four. So the number of nodes is going to be the energy level minus 1. So the number of nodes equals 3, because 4 minus 1 equals 3. OK, also, um, we know something else. We know L, the angular momentum, uh, quantum number. So that is, in this case, if it's a p orbital, it's 1, right? So that tells you the number of angular nodes. So the number of angular nodes. So So, if there's angular nodes, there must be some other kind of node, too. They're called radial nodes. So the number of radial nodes is going to be the total number of nodes minus the number of angular nodes. Makes sense, hopefully. So we got three nodes total minus one angular node. So there's two radial nodes. Is that okay? So, let's kind of blow this up a little bit. And how do you find the angular nodes again? Because angular nodes is the same as L. Okay. How, I mean, I'm, how do you find L? I guess it's like. L is the quantum number, the second quantum number. Oh, okay. So every P is, an, is one. Okay. At L, right? L. L is 0 for S, 1 for P, 2 for D, 3 
for F. You know that, okay? Yeah. Okay. So, let's draw a picture and show the nodes. Okay, so in this case, the, well, I guess we could have done it on this other picture. The, what we call the angular node is the one on the plane there. So it's on that. On that ZX point. Okay, so do you see that? So going through like that. So it goes through that point. A node means zero electron density place of zero electron density. The other two nodes are angular nodes. So when we draw those, we need to draw a picture like this. Right? And what we'll do is find those within So that's one of the angular nodes, and the other one is just inside of them. So there's three nodes, one, uh, did I say angular, I meant regular, right? So one angular, two radial, okay? The angular is the plane, and the radials are within the actual um, orbit, okay? So we'll do a couple more of these and see if you get them. Are there any questions on this one? 